Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here and I kind of decided to make this video to talk about uh, this thing right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but this is called Febreze, okay? And I want to talk about Febreze because uh, you can learn a lot of things about Febreze and how it was created created and uh, what you can take away when it comes to sales and marketing. So this video is all about Febreze, the creation of Febreze and uh, how it ties into sales and marketing. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you uh, a book right now that I'm currently uh, reading that reminded me of this particular story and I'll show you how it's going to benefit you if you're trying to grow your business and get more sales in your business. But let me show you the book. Okay, so this book. This is the book right here. Okay, it's called The Power of Habits, uh, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business. And a good friend of mine, uh, Kevin, sent me this. And in here, right, they talk about a story of Febreze. And if you don't know Febreze, like I said, is it's literally a air freshener, right? And um, I have some couple stuff highlighted here, but let me tell you the quick story of it, right? And um, I'm going to kind of paraphrase it, but Febreze was created in the mid-90s. And I don't know if you guys remember some of the commercials that came out. I remember um, uh, Febreze. Why? Because my mom used to buy it because she used to always tell me that uh, I stink uh, because I would play basketball, right? And I would come home and she'd be like, you stink, right? And she'd like, do the Febreze, right? And then the room would smell musty. So um, that's one of the reasons why. I would use Febreze, right? So now why is it important, okay? Well, it's one of the most successful and the most sold uh, products in in the world when it comes to air fresheners, right? But when it originally launched, it did not work the way that it was supposed to. So the company that created it is uh, Procter & Gamble, okay? And when they first discovered this, they discovered that certain chemical, the guy who discovered it, he was a heavy smoker, right? So he was smoking, 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 and one day he was messing with some chemicals and uh, uh, suddenly when he went home his wife said did you stop smoking right and he was kind of puzzled right he was just like what do you mean and he realized that he created a substance he created a chemical that would literally mask the smell and the smell disappears completely and that was the creation of Febreze so he brought this up to the team and uh, the team at Procter & Gamble and they were just like wow this is going to make millions right so they went on and did what good companies do they do market research to see how they can market the product right they'll test first right and you hear me talk about testing 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 right so they went out talk to people and to find out what they would want to do so so they start giving out samples sample samples and one of the samples that they gave out the and uh, a couple weeks later right they went back and went to talk to the people who took the sample and one of the ladies that they they uh talked to was working at a park right at a park like as a park ranger and she would smell like skunks right a single lady she would smell like skunks and uh, when they started interviewing her uh, she was like man it saved my life right and she, she just started crying and because she was just like yeah I can't even go on dates or bring people over to the house because it smells like skunks and it's been ruining my social life right and all I have to do now is to spray this Febreze and the smell goes away and matter of fact I had my friends come over and I sprayed the Febreze and I I asked them and they said, wow, what did you do, right? Because the smell went away completely, okay? So Procter & Gamble, the creator of Febreze, right? Guess what they did? They took that and took some of those other feedback that the customer gave like that and started to create an actual marketing campaign by doing that, okay? Now in this book, they talk about this, right? So they talk about how they went and they started creating it. Now, so, so they went out, created the message. Now, guess what happened? The issue was it had a little spike in sales, but then the sales started falling off the cliff. And they were just like, why is that going on? This should be selling off the actual shelves, right? So they went back and they started to, and then by this time, they've dropped millions and millions of dollars in marketing, right? And this is a early 92 or something like that. You may remember this. So they started going back and started talking to the people. And again, went back to the people they gave the samples to, went back to the people who bought it as well. And they realized, right? As they as they stepped into one of the one of the person's house, right? They stepped in and they were just like, they bought it, but this place stinks, right? It stinks. And it smelled like cats because they had like tons and tons of cats, right? And they started asking the person, says, Hey David, are you still using Febreze? And he goes, Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
And then at that time, the researcher out there doing this for the creators of Febreze, trying to market Febreze, it dawned on them. They said, wait, how is that possible? This place reeks and it stinks. But he says, I forgot to use Febreze. When they're positioning and marketing Febreze as what? Getting rid of bad smell. All right, that's what they were doing, it, getting rid of bad smell. And what they realized after the research, and it might be evident and it might be like obvious to you guys, right? Which is what? People who stink, guess what? They don't know that they stink. So the fact that they don't know that they stink, if you market a product as what it does, right? What it does is, guess what? It removes bad smell, all right? Febreze, it bombed. Why? Because no one used the product over and over, right? It was literally the power of habits. They did not have the habit to continuously use Febreze, so that's why the product did not sell. So when they realized that, because when it comes to the power of habits, there's a couple things, right? The cue, the reward, and the feedback loop, right? The habit loop, as they like to call it in the book. And uh, so they went back and repositioned the marketing. They repositioned the marketing. And they positioned it to say from a discovery that they had from this woman, right? So they went back to the board and they started giving some away and they found one lady that was using Febreze over and over. So they said, why do you use it over and over? Let me see what you do. And she was just like, well, I use it when I clean. So they watched her and observed her. So she would clean, clean the son's room. And then after vacuuming, cleaning, she would go ch -ch -ch -ch, spray the Febreze. Right? She would fold the clothes and stuff like that, and then boom, on the clothes, Febreze. Ch -ch -ch -ch, right? And she would clean the kitchen, and then guess what? Ch -ch -ch -ch, Febreze. And then they asked her, they said, why do you use it at the end? The Febreze. Right? These researchers that are selling the creators of Febreze. And they said, because, oh, because it reminds me that, hey, I finished my job here, and it smells fresh, and it smells clean. And that's when they realized, ah, they shouldn't market the product of Febreze as simply as covering up bad smells. Instead, they should market the product as the last thing to do use when something is clean so to prolong the cleanness. And it's totally different, right? It's like it's the words that we say. It's not what we say, but how we say it, right? It's the same thing in marketing. So they, we went back and they created a national campaign based on that. And I believe the commercial came out like on 98 and stuff. I remember watching those commercials about Febreze. And it's about this lady like vacuuming and stuff like that. And then at the end, they go, ch -ch -ch -ch, right? And when they did that, sales took off. Right, Febreze, the sales took off. And they literally, you know, became an air freshener that simply quote unquote, gets rid of bad smell, right? Bad smell. Versus originally when they launched, they were launching as, hey, a bad smell remover, okay? Now, why am I telling you this? And they might be like, okay, dude, Jeff, like this is simply, you didn't have to explain, spend five, six, seven, uh, you know, whatever minutes it took to explain this. But the reason why is because all of that, couple things, number one is choices of words. And number two is that when you position a product based on habits or based on a way that people can use over and over, right? You have the ability to persuade more. You have the ability to make more sales. And you don't technically even have to sell, right? They just come back, okay? So as you're moving forward and you're trying to grow your business, you have to think differently, right? And this is the reason why in sales and marketing, you test something and then you tweak and you tweak. And many times people give up after their first shots. There's so many times for me personally where there's marketing campaigns I've tested in the front front end, right? And it bombs, right? Absolutely bombs where I've spent money, a couple thousands of dollars, right? And then I'm just like, you know, like as you saw earlier, it's like flush down the toilet, right? I'm like, ah! And then I get upset, angry, and mad. And I'm just like, I'm going to figure this out. And I sit there and think about it. And then we go test, test, test and talk to people on why it didn't work and why it should have worked. And then we make adjustments and we go attack at it, okay? So again, that's my message for you is that if you're running into challenges, look back some of the marketing campaigns you have done and then to figure out why it didn't work or why it did work and then from there make those changes because you might find out that it's a product that you had or the product that you're trying to sell or what the service you're trying to sell might be in the case of when Febreze originally launched where all you have to do is just position and change the choices of words and magically stuff is going to start selling. So that's what I got for you. I got to head into uh, the office right now. So I uh, love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.